Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Twa here, and uh, this will be a video of a showcase of Cecilia 10 star. Now, you may just wonder, why is Audi in this team? He is magical damage, what the fuck are you doing? Well, guess what, Raccoon Dog is beating Nyla, Raccoon Dog is beating Glenwis, Raccoon Dog is beating Mediana, he is also beating Lavril. In terms of my whole damage and all of my characters, Mediana, Lavril, Glenn Wist, they're all good. Surprise, Audi is better for several reasons and I'll explain. All of Cecilia's damage is coming from her S3. Reason for it being, with her UT3 she will be getting 10% extra boss damage which is absolutely insane. So the moment you reset even more guess what more damage but if you by any chance pop the s3 twice then pop the audi s3 after you can instantly do it again meaning you get double the damage i don't think i need to explain how much damage i'm doing with that because it will show in this video now after i got the cecilia 10 star i was like how do i optimize this team how can i get the biggest damage record that i could ever get with this and I tried several things. I tried Glenwis 2 star into there. I tried Loman into there for more stunning. I tried a Nyla 0 star on there. I tried getting Lavril, getting Mediana in there. And I did not reach up to, I would say 1.8. Maybe even 1.9. But the moment I added Audi onto this, it's absolutely insane. And that is for multiple reasons. Because Audi onto the UT2 allows himself to stun a whole lot and obviously the moment you stun the boss he will be debuffing you less and you will be doing more damage overall with the rest of the team so that is a very nifty feature to it now to one of the biggest tips that i could give newcomers and that is get yourself a philip get yourself a clause if you want to have a physical team reason for it being the combination of them is unrivaled by any other team, any other combination of tanks. Reason for that is they're very low investment, but guess what? Their skills reduce overall defense of the boss. So this is different from amping physical damage with your team. So that means the bigger the boss, the more defense he has, the bigger use that Claus and Philip have. I tried beating that with a 2-star Glenwis UT2, not possible. A Loman 1-star, not possible. Now at some point it is debatable, like if you max this out, if you max out a Loman, if you max out a Glenwis, if Philip really has any use in a team like this. So that will be something that you could define as progression where you could kick out philip if you do have enough survivability and then just go for either a low man a glenwis or whatever is coming out in the future so that rounds up pretty much everything of the team But he did good. I can use two more resets if I do survive everything. Oh fuck. And I'm gonna need to use that fuck. Ooh, foo 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 foo, that was close. Damn! 
Okay, I get one more reset. That stun was just in the nick of time. That was sickening. Ain't gonna lie, that scared me. Oh, but this is an easy 2T. Oh my word. Nice. First 2 trillion up in the building. Yup. Got it. Oh, if I had a little bit more time plus the reset, I would have hit a 2.1. <laughs> 10 star Cecilia, baby. This is where we go at. And I kid you not, this is the power of Audi. This is all Audi. Like, I've done this with Mediana. Not possible. So, yeah, let's look at the gear right now. Oh, my God. Looking at this, man. Mm. I have some good stuff. So right now, what am I a rocking? Obviously, let's look at Audi. Now, I went for the Time Fragment or the Fragment Collection. Uh, reason for it being, it allows you to stun more. And uh, if I wanna amp this up even more, I will go for uh, something like this. A chance to petrify up into uh, 40%. And uh, highest attack speed, some HP here and there. So he's not really doing a lot of damage, but he is doing the resets, which is good. Going for this lady, and I actually used the Blessing of Earth on her. now. I found this to be one of the best factors that I could do, but I could actually try this onto Chase. Downside would be, I think Chase would actually uh, steal all of the buffs from Cecilia, and that's not something I want. So in that perspective, I'm like, no, nah, I'll keep it like this, no problem, keep it that way. Uh, Cecilia, let's check it out. What else do we have? We have Yuno up in the building, still loving uh, this one so much. Go for this for damage, going for maximum crit rate because the boss actually downs crit rate as well. So going over a thousand crit rate is actually a good thing. Now she, she just needs the five star. She needs that reason why uh, right now my Cecilia still gets CC'd and that is problematic. Uh, still get a little bit of dying and what she needs as well is the S2 unique treasure. Uh, for one reason that Cecilia needs way more mana right now and uh, UD2 will give that to her uh, what else do we have we have Chase up in the building going with the Infernal Grey Sword amazing addition to it lots of penetration coming out of that which is I would say amazing uh, nifty crit rate perk and then we have Philip onto extra stunning capacity working very well now this guy like I went for the uh, shield guardian perk this one is actually unnecessary right now because I'm not running the inner will or whatever it's called uh, what is it uh, the offensive guard uh, perk now this gives extra damage onto defense I rather go with the opportune strike but yeah that is about it for gear guys hope you guys enjoyed this was 20